Hi viewers, this is Dr. Rajul Dutt. In today's lecture video, I'm going to discuss about the fourth P of marketing myths, that is promotion. In the age of information, marketing is incomplete without effective communication with the prospective buyers about the right product at the right price that is available at the right place. In my previous uh, lecture videos, I have already covered about the pro products, about the pricing strategies and about the distribution or the middleman aspects. And this is the fourth P, which is uh, which is I'm starting uh, today as uh, with the concept of this promotion. Uh, if you look upon this, marketers therefore must communicate the product, its features, etc. to the right target customers by designing and uh, formulating intended message for them. Hence, the effective communication is the essence of promotion. Thus, uh, marketers has to use complex uh, uh, marketing communication to convey the message to the target group of customers. So in a way, when we talk about promotions, we are talking about the uh, communication uh, to establish, to be established rather between the uh, organization or the firm and the customers about, about the product, about its prices, about where it has been available, so and so forth. That is a certain kinds of information to be communicated to the prospective uh, customers. Uh, and therefore, communication is the responsibility of the manufacturers, uh, distributors, wholesalers, retailers, uh, or maybe all in the channel, all they require to communicate to the uh, prospective customers. And uh, for this proper communication requires advertising, sales promotion, personal selling, direct marketing, and public relations. So coming to the uh, concept of promotion as to what uh, promotion is. Now promotion, uh, if you look upon, is an important part of uh, marketing mix of a business organization or a firm. Uh, it is a process of communication involving uh, information, persuasion, and influence. Now, these are the various activities or a combination thereof. As that means the any marketer uh, when, has, uh, when has designed the product and the product has been priced and uh, where the product has been made available through the wholesalers and retailers, the other is to pass on the message. And now, this message uh, may be in the form of providing information or may, or may be persuading the uh, prospective customers or in a way to influence or in, in, a, in a, if I say it is on one time, it is a combination of all these th three, uh, three aspects rather uh, thereof. So uh, it involves all types of personal and non-personal or what we call it as impersonal communication with the customers as well as middlemen. Uh, in the distribution system. So it is not when we talk about this pro promotion aspect or the communication being given, the communication established, it is not only for the uh, prospective customers, it is also for the middlemen involved in the distribution system. So therefore, the promotion is uh, uh, communication from sellers to buyers uh, in the market in as much uh, as it tries to instill uh, uh, into consumers' minds, images through uh, advertising, personal selling, direct marketing, that makes them to buy the product. Uh, thus, uh, uh, a promotion message, uh, whether it is information, advice, or request by the sender, and who is the sender? Sender is the uh, marketer. The marketer is intending to send the, the message. Uh, to the receiver and the receiver in this communication uh, is the customer. They must establish certain tasks. Now, what are those uh, tasks? If, um, if I throw some light on the various tasks of this uh, uh, promotion messages, number one, it, it must gain uh, the attention of the receiver. The, it, the receiver here is the prospective consumer or the customer. Second task uh, related to is it must be understood by the receiver 
And uh, the third uh, important task among all other tasks is it must stimulate the needs of the receiver. Here the receiver is again customer and suggest an appropriate method of satisfying those needs or the needs. So these, uh, these, uh, these uh, three are the important tasks which a particular communication should be able to fulfill. Now, other important aspects now is coming as the objectives of promotion as to what, uh, what are the various objectives of the uh, promotion. So therefore, the marketers uh, uh, under, uh, and who undertake uh, say, promotional activities to achieve the uh, objectives as mentioned. Number one is to provide information. The main purpose of uh, promotional activities is to inform the prospective customers about the availability of, of the product, characteristics and uses of the product. Second is uh, the, to stimulate demand. Promotional activities uh, in a way create awareness and build consumer interest in the in new products. So the communication should be established or the tools should be used in such a manner that it should uh, you know stimulate the demand. Third important objective of uh, the promotion is to differentiate the product. Now the promotion helps in differentiating product from that of the competitor's product by comparing the product on different aspects, maybe on the features, maybe on price, maybe on the availability and so on and so forth. So this is the, uh, again, a very important aspect of uh, the, of uh, intending of giving, communicating to the customers is to differentiate the product with the competitor's product. Another uh, other aspect of uh, this objective of promotion is to highlight the utility of the product. Promotion helps people in knowing about the utility of the product so as to satisfy their specific needs. So this communication is being established with the by the organizations or the firms to the uh, prospective customers or consumers is uh, that uh, it, you know. It, to, to tell them about the uh, the products uh, uh, features and the products uh, uh, utilities the various utilities associated with the product the another is to counter competition in a way to stabilize sales also so uh, in the era of this fierce competition the important purpose of promotional activities is to fight competition by reassuring the customers about the quality and the price of the products. And the another uh, the important objective is to build image. Now, promotional activities uh, such as advertising, sales promotion, publicity uh, may be used as a favorable public image of the firm now through these uh, advertisements you know the organization they try to build the image uh, of the product or the brand or of the organizations uh, put together so but uh, this is the aspect of the promotion now there are various tools so, you know wherein uh, which are you being used by any marketer or by any firm manufacturing firm or that for for that matter any firm that we do even though those who are associated with services also. So the, the, all the tools to put together is being, uh, has forms a concept of promotion mix. So uh, there are various, uh, for example, I've mentioned there are five uh, main uh, tools for uh, promotion aspect or to, for, to conduct the promotional activities uh, are advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, public relations and direct marketing. So what do we mean by this term uh, promotion mix? So the term promotion mix is used to refer to the combination of different kinds of promotional tools uh, used by a firm to advertise and sell its products. The main promotional tools or activities which make up the promotion mix are uh, the, uh, as I said, it is uh, advertising, personal selling, sales promotion, 
public relations, uh, publicity and direct marketing. Uh, the modern business cannot depend upon a single promotional tool. They, they, may, they have to make use of different tools thereof. Uh, hence, the promotion mix uh, is a set of different marketing approaches that marketers develop to optimize uh, promotional efforts and reach a broader audience. Now, th this is the main intention of the product mixes as to how to reach to the uh, broader, audience, broader audience in terms of the number of the audience which can be hit by this communication which we, uh, which, which we are referring to as the promotion aspects. The marketer's task is to find out the right promotion mix for a particular brand or a product. Uh, now, uh, developing a marketing mix requires, therefore, skills and experience in uh, uh, marketing. Marketers should complete, uh, should complete various studies and gather data to come up with an effective promotion mix. And therefore, a promotion is a more expanded approach towards one of, uh, uh, one of the elements of the marketing mix and the promotion other being the product, place and price. Now the main promotional tools or activities which make up the promotion mix are number one is advertising. Now advertising uh, is a, this is a non-personal promotion of product and services. Uh, marketers use advertising as a vital uh, tool for increasing brand awareness. Now. Advertising is, uh, if you talk about by the definition or understanding as to what advertising is, it is any paid form of non-personal presentation of ideas, emotions and thoughts by an identified sponsor. So it is any paid form when you pay it to the, someone to, uh, to help in uh, communicating or to help to transfer the message the organization who is intending to reach to the larger section of the audience. Uh, it is a non-personal presentation that means that there is no face-to-face -face communication with the, uh, uh, with the uh, prospective customers. Though as of now in, in today's world with the help of uh, multimedia one, uh, one reaches to the people through conferencing but again by the very definition of advertising it is uh, characteristically it is a non-personal presentation of ideas, emotions and thoughts which the uh, marketer is intending to uh, send it to the uh, customers uh, by an identified sponsor. Here the identified sponsor is the name of the company from or the source from where the information is being uh, circulated so as to reach to the consumers. Second is the personal selling. Uh, this is one of the mo uh, one communication uh, between a sales personnel and a potential customers. It is one of the most effective ways of promoting products or brands uh, because salesperson can tailor uh, the promotion uh, precisely to those who are most likely to make the uh, purchase. So therefore personal selling or salesmanship for example uh, is the second uh, important tool uh, being used by the marketers uh, in, in, in order to uh, promote the products or so as to make the promotions. Uh, the third is the sales promotions. Sales promotion is uh, this is a set of uh, short term activities that are designed to encourage immediate purchase. Sales promotions are the campaigns that uses time sensitive offers. Now this is not for uh, this is not considered to be a long term. It is short term incentive where to boost up the layoff period for example or the product is of such a nature say which is based on maybe uh, maybe based on weather conditions or maybe based on certain geographical area. So for the short term increases of for the short term gains or short term incentives the sales promotion techniques are being used. I'll be dealing. These will be dealt in uh, as a separate chapters later in the forthcoming uh, uh, discussions. Uh, public relations. Uh, this type of promotional method determines the way people treat the brand. 
companies using public relations uh, uh, try to build a firm and an attractive brand image by planting new uh, stories or news about their activities in the uh, media so because you know to remain in the media the public relations aspects uh, as you said it is this is not uh, for the purpose of uh, initiating sales or to making the sales uh, being uh, done it is just to inform and to establish the relationship with the people and the last of course is here is direct marketing direct marketing consists of uh, any marketing that relies on direct communication uh, or distribution to individual consumers rather than through a third party such as mass media uh, including uh, emails uh, mail social media testing campaigns are amongst the delivery system used in the direct marketing it is called uh, direct marketing because it gen generally eliminates middlemen such as advertising media so advertising we have got its various advertising medias for example the print media is there the uh, the audio media is there audio video television is there some magazines are there banners and the posters are there so that there are there are various medias through which uh, the market uh, reaches or reaches to the customer by way of communicating or establish a relationship between the uh, organization and the consumers so uh, these uh, five aspects is being uh, are being broadly termed as now as promotion mix and with the help of the promotion mix with the combination with the uh, with the uh, expertise of a particular firm or with the taking into consideration the, the kind of the product the nature of the product and and therefore another important aspect to be in while designing this pro promotion mix for any organization one is as to how much money or how much funds are being available so that the uh, all the tools uh, if necessary may be used for communicating with the uh, prospective customers so that's all uh, in this uh, section of promotion mix and in the next video i will deal with the sales promotions and techniques being used for promoting the products by the organizations thank you